Dear students, in this video we will talk about sigma tropic rearrangements. We have already discussed sigma tropic rearrangements in our previous lecture. So these are the molecular rearrangements. in which a sigma bonded atom or group flanked by one or more pi electrons system shifts to a new position with corresponding reorganization of pi bonds. So these are molecular rearrangements in which a sigma bonded atom flanked by one or more pi electron system shifts to any position and it results in the change of pi bonds. This is basically sigma tropic rearrangement. For example, we have this molecule and if we number it, and these numberings are not IUPAC nomenclature numbering rather this numbering shows the point of attachment of migrating group so this shifts here and this shifts here and takes this hydrogen so this would be 1 3 sigma tropic shift So this is one, two, three. This is one, three sigma tropic shift. And these numbers are represented by I and J. And they are, they just show the point of attachment of migrating group. And uh, if we add further conjugation in it, for example, Now it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as a result of 1, 5 sigma tropic rearrangement, we would get One, two, three, four, five. This is two. So this is one five sigma tropic rearrangement. And similarly, we can have one seven sigma tropic rearrangement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would shift here, this would shift here, this would shift here, and this one would take this proton. So hydrogen would migrate to this carbon, and as a result of 
वन सेवन सिग्मा ट्रॉपिक शिफ्ट वी वुड गेट So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a sigma tropic shift, and in this rearrangement, sigma tropic rearrangement, the total number of sigma and pi bonds remain the same. For example, in this case, we can see between carbon-carbon bonds, we have a single bond here and double bond here. and here also we have double bond and also a single single bond so overall sigma and pi bonds remain the same during sigma tropic rearrangement now we see some further examples an example of sigma tropic rearrangement is scope rearrangement copre arrangement is thermal isomerization of one five dienes by three three sigma tropic shift for example we have this molecule and if we number it because this is attached here 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 so it would undergo 3 3 sigma tropic shift this would shift here this would attack here this would shift here and as a result we would get this and similarly there is uh, one variation of cope rearrangement involving hydroxyl group in which carbonyl compounds are also formed so this variation is called oxy cope rearrangement for example in this molecule we have hydroxyl group attached and we number it 1 2 3 1 2 3 and it would shift here it would shift here and this would shift here as a result of this we would get here double bond which and double bond here and we can see this is and enol because same carbon is sharing double bond as well as hydroxyl group so we can write it as or we can draw its structure as this here it's not reasonable to draw a carbonyl group like this so we have just sort of rearranged it and we have drawn this structure so this is better representation and uh, this can be drawn like this so this variation is oxy cope rearrangement oxy cope another example of oxy cope rearrangement is Three, one, two, three. This shifts here. This shifts here. This shifts here, and we get this molecule. So this is obtained. and uh, if we draw the immediate structure to for our convenience 
it would be like this or this one so this is in all form here in all form here so they can be converted into cor corresponding carbonyl so we get one two three four five six one six octadiketone so i hope this is clear to you another variation is as a copri arrangement In this rearrangement, this is again the modification of uh, co rearrangement involving nitrogen. We have molecule like this, and this is one, two, three, one, two, three, and three, three sigma tropic shift this shifts here, this shifts here, this shifts here. So we get this molecule. So this is a co arrangement and from the mechanism for example for this we can see the cyclic transition state. We have this and a new bond is being formed here here pi bond is being broken so it would be also as dotted bond and then again a dotted bond because here a new bond is being formed then the double bond here is being broken so then a double bond is being formed here and this is also getting broken so this one and this so this is the cyclic transition state for this molecule so i hope this is all clear to you and now we see another example of sigma tropic rearrangement Another example of sigma tropic rearrangements is Kleisen rearrangement. In this rearrangement, in general, we have aryl, allyl ethers as the starting material this is the name is just like we have diethyl ether and or this is phenyl tertiobutyl phenyl terbutyl ether similarly we have in the ether linkage here so aryl allyl ether and they undergo rearrangement and give rise to ortho orthoallyl phenols or paraallyl phenols So we see the mechanism for example we have this molecule allyl phenyl ether and this is one two three one two three so this shifts here, this shifts here, this shifts here and we get the cyclic transition state
here a new bond is being formed and a pi bond is being broken from here a new bond is being formed here and here a pi bond is being broken new pi bond is being formed sigma bond is being broken so this is one two three one here would be oxygen one two three so this is three three sigma drop rearrangement and as a result of this This is one, two, three, and this is one, two, three. So here we have hydrogen. This would shift here, and this would shift up and take this hydrogen, just like uh, that is keto in all automatism. And as a result, OH, a Lyle group. And this is ortho allyl phenol because we have allyl group at ortho position uh, to this hydroxyl group. So I hope this is clear. And in this case, if the ortho positions are blocked, for example, if we have this molecule with R blocked here, blocked here. So, This will shift here, this will shift here, this will shift here, and we would get this one. And here again, it would shift here, this would shift here, and this would shift here. So as a result, we will get this one. this one so here again we have hydrogen so this is kind of and this is keto form so it would shift here this would shift here so we will get the enol form or para isomer in this case this is para allyl phenol derivative because we have R here. So in general, Claisen rearrangement is also 3, 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. And if para position, uh, ortho position is not uh, occupied, we get ortho allyl phenols. And if ortho positions are blocked or occupied, we get para allyl phenols. So I hope this is clear to you. Now we see another example. Next rearrangement is benzidine rearrangement. In this rearrangement,
filters of benzene this is hydrazobenzene converts to 44 dash diamino biphenyl mh2 mh2 so 44 dash diamino biphenyl and this reaction takes place under acidic condition two hydrogens so what is the mechanism in the first step because we have two nitrogens with lone pairs so two protons would add each of the nitrogen would get the proton and we would get NH2 positive, NH2 positive, this one. And in the next step, this bond would break, shift here, this would shift here, this would attack here, this would shift here, and this would shift here. So if we number it, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5, 5 sigma tropic shift. And as a result, we get this one and again uh, this would shift here to uh, restore the aromaticity this would shift here and this would shift here and on this side of ring also this would shift here this would shift here and this would shift here to give rise to this 44 dash diamino biphenyl compound so this is the general mechanism of benzidine rearrangement however in case of benzidine rearrangement we have also some side products although the major product is this one but sometimes side products are also formed so now we see which are those side products okay the nature of substituent on hydrazobenzene actually influences the formation of uh, the products so this is the major product which is called parabenzidine or 44 dash diamino biphenyl and this is parasamidine in this case we have nh in the middle and nh2 on the para position and then we have orthosamidine and in this case this is diphenylene or diphenylene so these are the four products possibly we can also have orthobenzidine but this generally happens when we have all the para positions blocked here and here so we can also have the formation of ortho benzidine however major product is para benzidine and nature of substituent influences the formation of different types of these side products for example if para position is at, uh, occupied by methyl or alkoxy group in general orthosamidine is the main product however small amount of parasamidine can also form and if para position is at a, uh, is occupied by halogen we can observe the formation of diphenylene along with orthosamidine so in benzidine rearrangement which is basically 5,5 sigma tropic rearrangement and uh, in this case 
the nature of substituent can influence the formation of the different types of side products and however parabenzidine is our main product. So this was all for today's lecture. If there is any confusion or question, please leave your questions in comment box. Thanks.